All right, it is Thursday, the 22nd. Local Swall Truckers, how you doing? I'm going to do a quick little short hind casting. Just wanted to show you this large upper gyro all the way down to the, the surface. And there's been a lot of these uh, short wave troughs within the southern uh, branch of that big flow and leading to well above averages, uh, way above averages, and very consistent. In fact, we have uh, just back-to-back 20-plus -back foot swells. And the next one's coming on. Uh, Friday night. So, but this is uh, Wednesday the 21st, and this is actually the second one for Saturday that'll be nosing to with under, under 800 miles of us and uh, be bumping us up. It won't have the extreme long periods as the first west-northwest, but this one's going to get plenty big, peaking out on Saturday 16 to 18 feet at 15 seconds. That's enough for 20-foot surf on the outer reefs uh, from this guy right here. And uh, starting in the animation, just take a look at just this huge spinner that will be finally pushed out by some highs. It is weakening as we as we speak, but look how close the, the fetch gets. That's why this thing's going to be pretty big, and it's going to be pretty consistent, more consistent than the big Wednesday swell. Now, big Wednesday swell is going to be much more powerful and definitely a notch bigger than this producer right here that you see. But again, that large upper gyra, man, cranking. I mean, just look how active it has been. There's been this series of these gyras that get a lot of these storms within them tracking uh, along the jet stream and it's uh, game on getting back to current models thursday the 22nd here she is right here just another way of looking at these are the seas uh they're they're big be hitting us tomorrow night we'll have forerunners late in the day and it'll be peaking saturday it'll still be plenty big probably 10 12 maybe 15 on sunday morning as the thing finally fades out we will be having a around the clock wind pattern too it'll be Thanks to a front associated with this big low, we are looking at winds to go Kona as they did today, Thursday, stay Kona on Friday, then veer north on Saturday, post-frontal passage. I'll get more into the weather, but just wanted to show you this guy and what's also coming. So that one nears us, and then we get a really powerful storm coming off of the Kuril Islands, and it stays far away, so that'll be a, a buffer for getting really big waves from this guy. Not going to get as close as the last two systems, but this producer right here off of Japan uh, comes uh, off from this weekend all the way through Monday and Tuesday, reaching the dateline right here at 180 on Monday. This guy will bump us up 10 feet, 16 seconds, open ocean on Wednesday the 28th. The forerunners will be 20 seconds on Tuesday the 27th. So again, four runners from this guy later Tuesday this coming and peaking in the 8 to 12 foot range on Wednesday the 28th and then fading out from there. Starting it up again, we'll watch that guy fade out and then, as you'll notice, we finally go into a more normal quiet phase. Now, Wave Watch is picking up this nearby system moving our way with a captured fetch, but the winds are very light and it's over calling it. But well, we will see some short period 12 second boost from this guy uh, towards the end of the month and we got some weird storm activity i'm not going to say anything uh claim anything uh, seven days out it's just not strong enough to have any confidence now a real quick peek i uh, hear uh, about a uh, it was tuesday the 13th we had a little bit of a fetch off far off to the southeast of new zealand that actually you know it was so overshadowed by the west wrap here the last couple of days but some little two foot background stuff from from this guy right here and all in all uh, they're definitely in their austral uh season and we're not really seeing much of anything the, the jet stream's pretty doing some pretty strange things and there is some troughing within the jet but it's not going to be producing anything okay just wanted to show you the sweeper swell periods the first one now this is the one for uh saturday sunday I can't take a look at the size of that swell train. Uh, again, these are swell periods. We get a little bit of support here from that short period thing I was telling you about. Here we go for uh, next week, the long period, 20 seconds hitting on Tuesday and peeking us out on Wednesday, the 28th. You want to mark your calendars for that. For the, again, the North Pack looking beautiful. And these, uh, these models are at surfnewsnetwork.com. And so I just hunt around for them and adding more as we get going here. All righty, let's take that large spinner up here with a plenty of lows within it. Has pushed the ridge of high pressure over the islands. That's why we watch the winds go calm with a southerly flow. The winds have just been so epic. Pushing the high pressure over here, but we are in for a, uh, a pattern change. The high pressures are moving into the area. The, the large gyro that I've been showing you is, is fading out. The swell consistency will, consistency will begin to drop. 
There is the front associated with that low that brought us in our big waves and will be bringing us in our big waves for Saturday. The front will uh, be reaching Kauai on Friday, Oahu Friday night, Maui on Saturday. We'll have a post-frontal situation happening with northerly winds on Saturday in the 10 to 20 range and 10 to 25 possibly on Sunday, Monday. And we'll be into a very stable air mass, very dry and a very windy. The North Shore will not be clean as it has been, but we will have plenty of soil to ride. And then here comes that system off of the, uh, the Kurils, off of Japan, uh, moving our way for next Wednesday. And that will be a fairly significant swell, but not at warning levels. All righty, the jet stream. Take a look. It dips right on top of us, bringing the next system really close to us. Again, the large upper air currents are 30,000 feet up, and they, they help with storm formation at the surface and then steer them once they're formed. And it, it's uh, doing some pretty good stuff. There's lots of purple in there. We like to see that. And then it does break up. We go into a, a slight little quiet period after next Wednesday's big swell. And uh, it'll get going again. We have all the way through February. Of course, uh, December, January, February are, have always been known as the big three months of uh, winter swell production. And we're into a slight El Nino. So uh, seems like things have been doing pretty well for Paradise. Down under, again, there's some troughing, but it's all the wrong area. We like them pointing up our way, of course. And here in the jet stream, we like that thing low and consolidated all the way out past the longitudes of Hawaii. Uh, the jet is, though, as I said, going into a, a weaker period, as you can see the breaks in it. Now, way up in the upper atmosphere with the water vapor loops, you see the brown areas. That's stable air masses in the upper regions, even though you can see that front from the big counterclockwise spinning gyra. And uh, there's the front nearing us as we speak. But all in all, it'll be fairly dry. It'll be a fairly weak front. It's been a two-pronged front, and uh, we're not expecting, we are expecting a little bit more moisture, but it's not going to be a heavy downpour. And this is, this is why right here, what's going on in the upper regions. This is a prettier view as we drill down. I'll tell you, it's going to be getting cold. Right now, though, we're looking at highs about 80, lows about 70. And then by Sunday, man, we're talking lows in 60, 65, you know, especially for Wahiwa, it'll get very chilly, you know, after that front gets out of here. And then it's a real defined front, as you can see right here. And as I said, Kauai first, us second, Maui third, and the Big Island last. We're going to see the strongest Kona winds uh, and north winds post-frontal passage. And drilling down here, you can just see some disturbances here as that big spinner has pulled up the winds from the south and southwest now, and the, they'll go around the clock as the front hits us and moves down the island chain. Take a look how dry it is. There's just hardly any rain whatsoever. You know, the big island's getting a little bit, but yeah. And we'll finish off here with these beautiful models of the big low pressure giving us our waves. And for Saturday, looks like there's spinners off of, of, of New Zealand, but this is deceptive. That's We're not going to get anything from this if, in case you were hoping. It's all about the North Pack because we're in winter. And that's your update. Catch you back here weekend after next. Aloha.